Good morning, sweet home. Today is Thursday, October 15th, and it is a day three. My name is Jack, and here are today's morning announcements. Good morning, Panthers. It's currently 61 degrees. The high for today is 64. There's a 90% chance of rain later. Now back to your morning announcements. A reminder for all students taking the AP exam, your AP money is due to Ms. Becker in the AP's office by Friday, October 23rd. Don't forget to participate in our Spirit Weeks. Monday and Friday is Class Color Day and Tuesday and Thursday is Buffalo Bills Day. The following week, Monday and Thursday are We Are Sweet Home Days and Tuesday and Friday are Favorite Character Days. Bring your best school spirit. Attention all Panther fans, this fall season due to COVID-19, only two spectators per player are permitted on campus for athletic events. All spectators must have an ECIC spectator credential in order to attend the game. We know this is a bummer and we will miss seeing our Panther pit at games. You can still enjoy some games with our live streaming option. More details to follow later this week on how you can watch the Panthers while in comfort of your own home. We look forward to the day we will again be able to pack the pit with all of you. Thank you for adhering to the guidelines and keeping our Panthers and our community safe. Congratulations to Boys Cross Country for the win against Star Point. Seniors Dan Gutsu and Adam Mazur lead the pack and the win was clinched by junior Ryan Fleck. Well done, boys. This week's Male Athlete of the Week goes to varsity soccer player Zach Collins. Zach is a vocal, positive, hardworking, and leader to the field. Zach has also been able to learn and apply the techniques we teach him in practice into game-like settings. Congratulations, Zach. This week's Female Athlete of the Week goes to varsity cross-country runner Danita Critico. Danita ran her heart out for the first meet against the season, second place overall against Star Point. She is also the team's spirit captain and helped boost the team's spirit before the race, including pep talks and team cheers. Congratulations, Danita. Hello, Sweet Home, and welcome to a brand new mini-series all about voting for this year's upcoming election on November 3rd. In today's video, we'll be talking about ways people can vote and who can vote. We want to thank Mr. Aquilino for working with us on this video. We hope you enjoy this video, and without further ado, here is Mr. Aquilino. What are some of the ways people can vote in this year's election and who can vote? Uh, there are several ways to vote. Anybody over the age of 18 in the United States who is a... United States resident over the age of 18 and registered to vote in your state is is eligible to vote. The different there's many different ways to vote. Obviously, you can go to the polling place on election day. Um, you know, because of COVID, we you know it's it's opened up uh, you know some some different ways to vote. You can vote early. Um, I know in in Erie County there are several sites where you can go. Um, a couple of weeks before the vote and vote early. Um, many states offer mail-in ballots for early voting. Um, and of course there's absentee ba ballots. So if you are not living in the state that you are registered to vote, if you are a, perhaps a military, a soldier um, overseas, or you are working outside of the country or outside of your state, you can send in an absentee ballot. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Next episode, we'll be talking about who's going to be on the ballot. If you have any questions, visit rockthevote.com where you can find more information on ways to vote. We hope you enjoyed today's video and we'll see you again soon in our next video. Thank you so much for watching, sweet home. Have a great day.